Now, I respect my friend Senator Sanders. I believe the ideals he talks about are ideals we all share. But I also believe that the way we will build the movement to defeat Donald Trump is to call people into our tent, not to call them names online. We're going to need a nominee ready to bring Americans together. And we're going to need a nominee who understands that we dare not treat the presidency like it is the only office that matters. Right here in Virginia, your legislature is demonstrating the power of doing the right thing at the state level when we get those offices into the right hands. We had better make sure we've got a nominee at the top of the ticket who can not just take back the White House, but keep the House in the right hands and send Mitch McConnell packing. And yes, I also draw a lot of my own hope from the LGBTQ experience. Look, we got a long way to go when it comes to equality. There's no question of that. And when, and when I'm, I'm president, president, we will. We will. Beginning, Beginning with the Equality Act, Act and continuing with an end to the war on trans Americans and affirmatively building up everybody's sense of belonging in this country. We do have a long way to go, but part of why I am hopeful is the fact that I'm standing in front of you as somebody who was raised at a moment when you thought you could either serve or you could be gay. You definitely could not be both of those things. You could either be out or you could be involved in public service and politics, where I came from. Not both. You could either be married or you could be gay. Not both. And I'm standing right in front of you as a veteran, happily married, running for president of the United States. That's where I get my hope.